Yeah, g'day guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to, uh, well I've actually, I've jumped on board the bandwagon I suppose you might as well call it. So last couple of months I've been trying to find an alternate um, ways of getting signal while you're out free camp or out in the middle of the bush. So I've jumped on board, as I said I've jumped on the bandwagon and I went and got the uh, the Starlink. So I've got Starlink, I haven't opened it yet. In the box just here. So I've watched a few videos on YouTube of uh, people setting it up. So it looks very easy. They're getting crazy, crazy download and upload um, figures. So I thought I might as, well, might as well have a look at it today. So we we got on to Starlink when it was the uh, two months for free. So it was 450 for the uh, the setup itself, and then. And then it is a little bit expensive, it's $178 a month um, for your RV setup. So the benefit with the RV one is you can pause and unpause it. So I've paused it at the moment, which I just got it the other day, but I'm still going to get charged for the month. And then I'll use it or I'll unpause it when we go on our six month trip to WA. So pretty much the reason why we got it is Probably more social media wise than anything. Um, if we do free camp for an extended period of time, you know, I like to watch a bit of YouTube. Uh, a bit of, but kids like to use Wi-Fi for their gaming, they can watch YouTube as well. So it's certainly a win-win situation for everyone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, well, I'm going to, going to try and set it up. So apparently it's very, very easy. So it shouldn't be too hard. I watched a few, as I said, I watched a few different things on YouTube. So we'll, um, we'll set it up out here in, at the back of the house here and um, we'll run everything through into the house and um, we'll see what sort of download and upload speeds we get. Right, I guys, so as I said, this is the box, so that's how the box comes delivered. So, got a massive big Starling picture all, all riding all over it and your details on the other side. So, um, I don't know, I would have liked to see them wrap it in a brown bit of brown paper, even put it in the box, but anyway, this is what it is. Right, right so we change from the, from the ground to the table because it's too hard on the knee, so. Excuse the beers, just having a couple of Cooper's Pale Ale. So I've jumped on the, on the Pale Ale bandwagon, so Cooper's, if you're watching, happy to be an ambassador. Bloody great beer. Right, getting back to what we're doing, so. I'll open her up. Leave of plastic. Base. I guess, and the uh, the big the big dish itself. So, um, yep. So it goes, only goes in one way. You can't can't force it. There's a lug there. Clicks in. Right on. So these are the instructions here. So there's not too much. Shouldn't be too much involved. Put outside, plug in, go to Starlink on your phone. So I guess that's all what we'll do. Right, so we'll go and put the Starlink out. Hang on, what's this? There's a bit of a little bit of paperwork in here. Not too sure. I don't know. I don't go too well on reading paper paperwork. Um, anyway, is there anything interesting in that I'll let you know. Right, so this is the. I guess that would be the router itself. So the only downside to having a Starlink is it's 240 volts. So you ain't going to run off 12 volts if you only got 12 volts in your van. So you're going to have to hook up a inverter and then run it through that. So we've got an inverter in our van, so um, we'll use it like that. So the idea would have this, the, the top thing itself. I'm going to have it sitting up on top of the on the roof of the van. Now you can get different mounts and um, other different pieces, but I think I'll just I'll just sit it on top of the van. I'll just run the cord back through the through the hatches on the van, and then that'll get us our internet hopefully. So I don't know. I think there's probably say five meters of cabling there. I would imagine. Anyway, we'll. Uh, 
I'll just turn this around. Excuse the camera work here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Righto. So I need to have open view of the sky. No, no trees or no roofing around. So I'll move it. It's at least five metres away from the edge of the roof. We'll sit that down there. We'll run our cable back in. As I said, I don't know, it must be if it's five metres, I suppose. Might be even more than five, maybe 15 metres. All right, so I'll unwind that. I'll get it inside. Actually, I'll get it over to a 240 volt power source, and then we'll uh, we'll turn it back on from there. All right, so I've just plugged the bottom in from the dish. So it's got waterproofing bits and pieces all over it, so... Obviously it only goes down yep, only goes in one way. And I wouldn't put it, I wouldn't submerge it in the water, so and that one would only go one way, which it does. And that goes in there like that. Alright, we'll go and hook it up to 240 and see what it does. Alright, we'll just use the 12 240 outside. Plug it in. Click the switch, All right, we've got a white light on the bottom. Right, so I think the next thing we had to do was to go onto the uh, the app itself. So I'll uh, jump on the app and we'll see if it works. Hopefully, so far, very, very easy. Yeah, right, guys, so I'm just going to show you how to do it like this. I don't know how to put the, the phone onto the screen itself. So if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. So what do we do? Start setup. Right, we're going to select our dish. Oh, hang on. So the thing's moved, so it's facing up into the sky now. So it was facing back towards the house as before. So I think mine is the... I'm going to say that one there. Hang on, I'll get back over here. Right, oh, no. I'm going to say it's that one there, looks very similar to it, we'll confirm it. Find a location, check for obstruction to find the location, I'll have a location, that'll do. Plug in your Starlink, yeah right, so I've done all that. Um, we'll hit next again. So we want to connect to our open Wi-Fi settings. So I'm guessing I go to Wi-Fi, turn it on. Stinky. I don't know, we'll click on that one, I guess. Right, oh, it's thinking. Oh, hang on, we've connected, here we go. Enter Wi-Fi network name. I have to create all that sort of stuff. Right, well I better go and create that one show is on here. Yeah, right, so I've uh, created a, I guess an account and a password, so if I go back into Starlink itself, oh, so, so it's booting. Yeah, right, so it's been probably a couple of minutes now, it's still waiting, it still says it's booting up. So I guess you just gotta let it run through, it's, it's, I don't know, it's booting up. So I'm just gonna have a beer while I'm waiting. Again, most of these beers, as you know, have a quality control on the uh, Cooper's Pale Ale. Anyway, I'll come back to you guys when it's uh, ready to roll, I guess. Cheers. Right, so we're on, we're online. She's, uh, this is what it comes up with. What's the uh, statistics? Uh, no idea what that means. Settings, no about settings. Right, let's go speed. What are we working at? So we're at 60 megabytes per second. So I've just moved over towards the shed. Um, when I was over near the house and I tried it, it was over 100, it was 101. So as you can see, the little pie up there, I've got two bars. I just moved over to the shed just so you can see the phone a little bit better. But um, if I move, I might just move back over. Probably going to be a bit harder to see, but... Right, so I'm back over near the house. 
So this thing was facing, I think it was facing, it was facing up, now it's facing that way. So, right, I might do it a bit closer, so you can see it again. So I'm literally sitting probably five meters from it. So we'll just check our speed up again. I'll do a bit of a test on how far I can walk away from it. So 124, as I said, no. I'm, I'm here, well, that's there, I'm here, so a big, a big good five metres, so and what I might do now is I'll go and stand over in the corner over there, it'll be a good, it'll have to be at least 20 metres away, and we'll just see what sort of uh, figures we get, and uh, see how far we can go before the Wi-Fi drops out. But before I do that, I'm going to jump on my own website. So everything works, it loads very, very quickly, so if you haven't watched how to make a Jaffa Maker, get on that. It's a bloody ripper, that one. If you haven't watched the DIY installation canopy, get on that one if you want to do something with your canopy. But anyway, we'll go and walk over, as I said, over that corner and see what happens. Yeah, right, guys, so I'm over in the corner, so I'm, I'm about 30 metres away from the, uh, the uh, dish itself, so I'll click on Starlink. Um, I've got two bars on the uh, on the pie. We'll click speed from here. So I must work better as you as the closer you get. So I'm sitting on around 80, 86, 84. So 90. So I'm at 90. So I've gone 30 meters away, and I'm at 90 megabytes per second. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can see that. Hang on. We're getting in this tree here. There's no no glare. So 90 megabytes a second. So. What I'll do is I'll go on the other side of the fence and I'll, I'll move over another another 30 metres and we'll see what happens from there. Righto, so I'm 100 metres away from the uh, the dish. I've got, I did have one pie, now I've got half a pie. So if I click on speed again, so as I said, 100 metres away. Oh no, I've just, I've just lost. Just lost signal, she just dropped out. Alright, so I was saying 20, that's... So I was saying 20 megabytes per second, but that's on Telstra 5G, so... Um, so if we move a bit closer... So if we go back into settings... And then go back to Wi-Fi, yep, it's already still connected. Alright, so we're back in, so we've probably walked in maybe another 10 metres. So we're at, no, we're saying 90 metres, 95 metres. We'll uh, check out our speeds again. No, I've lost it again. What's going on here? It's gone up a bit, so it's 30, 30 mega, 32 megabytes per second. Alright, I'm back on it now, so I've come back in probably halfway, so it might be, might be 70 metres away from the actual dish itself. Just checking our speeds again. Yeah, right, so down to, we're down to 7.1 megabytes per second, or, or 12 between 10 and 12 now so about eight megabytes per second upload so obviously the closer you are to the dish the better you're going to be but really so you can set that up 50 meters away so on top of your van and you're going to a uh, a happy hour or a happy happy couple of hours a couple of schooners you can set that up there and you can go over you know 50 meters away and you're still gonna get a wi-fi service so pretty cool yeah right guys so that's the uh the setup of the Starlink, so uh, pretty simple. Um, so far, very happy with it. We got, I'm getting 100 megabytes a, a second download. I didn't actually look at the upload speed, so um, it's going to be right up there too. So, so I'm in Tamora, New South Wales, so not too far out of town. So there's, there's no trees around. It's only the house. The closest neighbour is probably 500 metres away. Um, so I'll be definitely interested to see what it looks like when I'm. Um, we you know we're out in the middle of nowhere and the closest place is you know 100 k's away 50 k's away but if all you need is satellite open air open area away from trees away from buildings and, and direct line of sight to the sky there's no reason why that bad boy's not going to pick up internet anywhere we go so anyway guys if you've got a, in, any questions on that 
super simple to set up. Every time you watch sort of stuff when they set them up and it's like, I know that's all it is. It was, uh, you're like, yeah, no, nah, it's gonna be more to it than that. Super duper simple. So far, highly recommended, but as I said, we'll use it on our six month trip and we'll give you a bit of an update uh, a bit further along and we'll let you know what, what the, uh, the situation is. Um, and I still recommend it, but so the reason, as I said before, the reason we got it was for our socials and the ability to pause and unpause it. Um, that's why we got it. So I'm super keen to, to try it out, especially in Western Australia when you're in the uh, middle of nowhere, away from everyone. And you can still jump on YouTube, still do a bit of social and that sort of stuff. So yeah, all right guys, so just before we go, I thought I'd just quickly um, tell you is, so I've just went into settings. So it's actually, it's got a stove setting. So you go to settings and you're on your app on your phone, um, and go down sort of three quarters of the bottom and click on stow. So click on stow, click OK. Yeah, right, so it tilts the the dish itself. So it was on a sort of a, well, probably a 45. Now it's stowed it to nearly straight up and down. So many questions, as I said, hit me up, drop in the comments. We'll go from there. But yeah, as I said, very simple to set up. Highly recommended so far. All right, guys, I'll, uh, I'm, I'm rambling now. I'll uh, see you next time. Cheers.